Hey guys, I just took delivery of this Lumen Top Ant Man World Smallest LEP. That's at least how Lumen Top refers to it. I think it's true. I've never seen an LEP this small. Take a look. Fits in my hand very easily. Powered by one 14500 sized, kind of double A sized lithium battery. Got a little glow ring in the end here. Let's see if I can get a focus on that glow ring. And then it's got a button on the back. It's Ford Clicky. And uh, just one mode. Just one mode is all it is. Let's take a look at it against some other popular throwers. This is a Thor 2 from Loon Top. KR1 with a W2 Osram. This is an MC13. It's green, but it's got the uh, W1 Osram in it. And then here is a GT Nano. This one was modified with a blue emitter, blue W1, but uh, let's take a look at it. So first off, let's take a look at beam size. So here we'll go. Here is the Ant-Man on the left. I'll keep the Ant-Man on the left for all these shots. Here is a MC13 green. You can see that, well, let's turn it up here. You can see that the hotspot size is about the same. So if you've got a Manker MC13 or a Through Night Catapult Mini, expect about the same hotspot size. Okay, now let's take a look at the KR1W2, which has a bigger hotspot, significantly bigger. So there you go. That's how that looks. And then let's take a look at the GT Nano, the blue one. You see the hotspot. Eh, it's coming out a little weird on my video. All right, there we go. There we go. You can see that it's about the same size. I would say the... GT Nano hotspot is, eh, yeah, I'd say it's about the same size. Looks a little bigger on the video, but it really isn't. It's pretty much the same. All right, and then we've got the Thor 2 here, much smaller hotspot. Uh, this one is more Candela. I measured the Ant-Man here on the left at about 100,000 Candela. People on Reddit were saying that that was higher than what they were getting, so maybe I got a really good one. I also measured it at 200 lumens, where people were measuring it at 150 or less. Um, but this Thor 2 on the right here, I've been measuring this one at almost a million Candela, so that's a big difference. All right, let's take a look at it downrange. Let's adjust the camera here. By the way, the white balance is locked at 5,000 as always, daylight temperature. So you can get an idea for tint. And let's take a look at this. The palm trees at the end of the street are 110 meters away. All right, so here we go. Let's start out with the Thor here. I'm sorry, the Ant-Man. This is the Ant-Man uh, LEP. You can see it lighting up those palm trees on the left. There's two. Two on the right there. Yeah, some cars and stuff. It's it's pretty good, man. This is a pretty good thrower. Um, not as bright as the green MC13 here. This is a much brighter light. And uh, that's where people kind of think that maybe the Ant-Man's not really worth it. Um, but I got to tell you, man, there's a big size difference between these two, right? I mean, look at that. In your pocket, this thing just kind of disappears in your pocket. This one, you know, you know you're carrying it. So it's small, but you can tell. All right, so again, oops, strobe. Okay, so there's the green, and there's the Ant-Man. All right, let's take a look at the KR-1 with the W-2. I'll do it on turbo. There you go. So the uh, Ant Man and the KR1 uh, with the W2 aren't that different, but I'm going to give it to the KR1. It's brighter. But again, significantly different size. And uh, the KR1 gets a little hotter than the Ant Man. Um, let's take a look at the GT Nano. This has got a blue emitter, so that's kind of a goofy thing. All right, there you go. So and that's kind of weird, but just for comparison's sake. And uh, you know, down range. Let's see here. Mm. 
yeah, I think, I think, yeah, you know what? I'm looking in the sky too. The uh, GT Nano, the beam diverges more. So downrange, it's a bigger hotspot. So that's something to be considered. This Ant-Man has a very, very pencil beam, very linear, doesn't really splay out. And then lastly, let's take a look at the um, Thor 2 here against the Ant-Man. Thor is going to destroy it. A Thor 2 will at least. All right, let's take a look. There you go. Much more concentrated beam. Much more. You can see it barely lights up part of one palm tree. And here, this guy hits... Oh, whoops, I'm in the camera. Uh, so part of one palm tree, and this one is two palm trees or more. Uh, but mo much more candela, much brighter. But, you know, I don't know, I like it. It's very, very small. Very, very cool little light. Glow ring is green on the... Uh, well, actually, I added this. I added this glow ring. This came standard. A little ice blue glow, glow ring on the inside. Um, I think that's it, man. All right, I hope you enjoyed it.